This quick video will show you how to use Google Sheets. So the first start is to go to the new in Google Drive and to create a new Google Sheet. You'll want to name your Google Sheet, but for the purpose of this video, let's look at just how we uh, insert a chart into Google Sheets. So rather than type out all the information, I'm going to go over to my source data and I'm just going to select this data and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to take that data, go back into Google Sheets, and I'm going to hit Control V, which will paste it back in. So now I have all the data in here. When I want to graph it, I'm going to use the chart function. So I'm going to insert a chart. In this case, I'll highlight the two columns. I want to make sure that all of the information is not in the same column. So you can see here in in row A2, we have the numbers in both columns. So that's not quite going to work. If that happens, simply remove, remove the second set of data and make a few quick changes. So we will change this to the numbers we need. And you'll see what I'm trying to do is make sure the columns have distinct data in them and not a, a combination of the two pieces of data. That'll happen sometimes if you're copying and pasting data from another source. If it does, you just have to kind of retype it. If you forget what it is, like I just did, you can simply just hit undo. And we'll put that data in. And now we have now we have all of our data in. Once we have our data in, we want to make sure the top is set up as well. So we're going to take this number of students and we're going to put it in the correct column. Getting rid of all these extra spaces. So the data is well formatted. The better your data is formatted, formatted, the better the graph. Now I highlight the two columns and I simply select a chart. And it's going to give me some options for various charts. You can see with this chart, it's graphed it. It's a bar graph. We have the number of students on the left. We have the type of students and we have our graph all set out. So it gives us some recommended types of charts. We can see a bar graph, number of students in a line graph. Line graph probably doesn't make as much sense in this case because it's discrete data. So using the number of students in a bar graph makes sense. Using the number of students in a circle graph makes sense because we can see the percentage in each. Um, so we're going to choose the one that we want. There are other chart types we can get to by clicking on chart types. And using use column A as labels, if we are in a situation where we want, um, where column A, remember, was the action, role-playing, arcade, we want those to be our labels, and we want row 1 as headers. So our header in this case, if we go back to... Um, the bar graph, we can see we're using the number of students and the type that automatically labels our, our graph. So creating a chart in Google Docs is as simple as that. It's very quick. It's very easy. If we want to edit the chart, we can click on this little um, down arrow over here, and it gives us some options um, in order to edit the chart. Okay. We can also click over here onto the onto the little um, the little pencil and I'll give us some options for how we want to fill it in so if we didn't if we wanted a different color if we wanted a background we can change all of those uh, simply but simply by going up here there are a lot of different options with charts um, Google Google Sheets is a pretty powerful program however if you want to do more complex um, charts you will need to go into something like Excel or LibreOffice or another program that's more of a, a spreadsheet um, program and not online. Hopefully that helps you. And if you have any questions, don't forget to talk to your teacher. Thank you.